Hey there everyone, I know it's been an awfully long time since I put out a video, um, but rest assured I am still working on uh, 3.2 and um, I'm still working on the uh, under the covers code to support animations for wheel items. That's my focus. However, uh, there were a couple of things that um, I've uh, addressed, some visual changes, um, but I've also made um, an enhancement as well. I've added two properties to um, to the UI element, so I'll show that and put the build out on Patreon. Doesn't really matter what theme. Uh, actually, one that I was actually practicing on was this one. So this object or collection of UI elements here I have this dock container with the selected item and the max number of items being displayed. All right. Now, what I've done, I've added, in addition to being able to flip horizontally and flip vertically, and actually one of the other changes I made here is uh, on the current build of CTC 3.2 or anything prior, whenever you flip these switches, it would cause um, a regeneration of the code and then the view would be refreshed. As you can see, it's not interrupting or reloading the video or anything like that, but it is actually altering the properties of the uh, selected UI element. All right, so that's, that's one change. The second change is um, I've added these two properties here, scale width, scale height. Now you can achieve this today by um, uh, applying a, um, uh, an animation to an element and uh, upon startup or upon when the uh, element is loaded, you can cause it to scale up you know, X percent, um, but, you know, you don't have to do that if you can actually apply the properties right up front, okay? So that's what I've done here. So as you can see, I'm actually altering the dock, okay? Not the overall size of the, the, the element here, okay? Not this one, but the actual contents. So... If you actually wanted to scale up or scale down some content instead of changing the font sizes or the, the images or what have you, maybe you've got everything exactly how you want it, but you just want to make it slightly smaller or slightly larger without altering everything, this is one way of doing it. Okay. In fact, I've used that technique here for this gamepad. Um, uh, the, the way I had actually uh, created it or had had all, all these different things drawn, I think the gamepad was too small um, when displayed on a 4K or 5K monitor, so I had to scale up the whole thing. Okay. Now, it's not magnifying. It's not making the pixels bigger or anything like that because it's vector-based. vector, vector -based. Um, It's still... Um, nice and smooth looking, thank goodness. And the same is true for this too, all right? So, like I said, if you wanna leverage uh, scaling up or scaling down, um, you know, uh, a UI element or a, a collection of UI elements, um, this is one way to 
go about it. And I've actually done it on one of my themes. Uh, let's go to this mega theme. <clears throat> Now I've just modified it to utilize these two new properties, but if I go down, background container, um, I think it was the, uh, yeah, there you go. So it's the same trick. I've, I've increased it by 420%, right? So if I put it to 100, 100, That's what the um, the image actually looks like, um, or the collection of images looks like when they're rotating. Actually, I should be able to do this. All right, they are rotating. So I actually had storyboards or um, animations defined on this container. So when the view was loaded, the first thing it did, it would um, uh, set the scale width and scale height to 420% of this UI element. Okay, so you don't need to do that anymore. Okay, so it's very useful, all right, at times. Um, so yeah, that's what I've um, I decided to apply here. I'm trying to get it so that as many properties that you actually change, it's not causing a reload or a refresh of the entire view each and every time. I'm trying to do um, uh, try and target those properties directly um, and alter them on screen while everything's still running. Um, uh, that way, you know, there's no there's no slowdown. But um, anyway, I just wanted to show you the two new properties that I put out there and a slight, you know, editing performance improvement uh, before I uh, unleash uh, the the, uh, the animation code for uh, wheel items. But anyway, I'll put this out on uh, Patreon. Include this video so. Hope you like it, hope you find it useful, and uh, I'll catch you soon.